always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. It always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. It always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just thought I would film it's really like such a spontaneous Q&A video. So I did this look on camera while I answered those questions. I just thought it would be really casual, a chit-chatty kind of thing. So yeah, let's get into the video. This has been the most impromptu video. And um, I'm in Kenya by the way, just so that you guys know I'm back. So I've gotten a bunch of questions and I'm just gonna start by moisturizing my face. It's been super dry ever since I've been back. I don't know why. Like at night I wake up and I literally put lotion on because I feel like my skin is just about to crack. Uh, this is Murad by the way. It's um, an essential seed day moisture. There, yeah. So this is what I use for my face normally. So anyway, how have you guys been? It's been so nice being back. I just bump into a lot of you literally in the most random of places and we just talk about the most random things um but yeah it's been so cool being back and meeting some of you i always get distracted when i do these things so uh i'm just gonna go ahead with this primer i should have just done eyebrows before i came here because i don't even know how i'm about to talk and do my eyebrows at the same time you know what guys i'm just gonna fast forward because i know it's just not gonna happen Mm -mm. Okay, uh, the first question is how do you manage the long distance aspect of the relationship? Um, I think I'm used to it by now um, just because I've been doing it for the longest. I've been dating Emmanuel since I was a freshman so I think the first time was a bit difficult. Eventually you just get used to it. But yeah, every time I tell someone I'm doing a long distance relationship, they're just like, what? Like, how could you do that at your age? Blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's not that bad. Like, you just have to be committed and you just have to compromise, especially with like the time difference and everything. Uh, next question is, did you leave the States for good or are you in Kenya for holiday? But that's actually a pretty popular question. I haven't really mentioned why I've been back. Um, because everyone's like, aren't you supposed to be in school? Yeah, I am, but I just decided to skip a semester because of um, personal reasons. I just figured let me just come home and just get some experience work, just stuff like that. Um, so, oh yeah, to answer your question, sorry. Um, no, I'm not. I haven't left the States for good. So yeah, I'm just here until January. Uh, you were to do a video on the other side of traveling people never talk about. Wait. I kind of did, okay, no I didn't, those were tips. But if you haven't seen that video where I was talking about traveling tips, um, I'll leave it somewhere. The thing is, I was supposed to collaborate with Emmanuel because if you guys don't know, we both traveled together. So yeah, we wanted to do like a collaborative thing, but because I left, it's been pretty hard, but I will for sure sometime. Are you done with school? Oh, okay, I already answered that. No, I'm not done. Graduating in May. God willing. What would you advise someone who's looking to go study abroad? Um, just try to stay true to yourself. Um, of course, you have to be open, but it's so important for you to stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself, just because it's so easy to get lost. Like so easy. Like for example, but I know a lot of international students who come to the states, and because they don't want their first name being butchered, you know, they change it to an English name, which I mean that's your thing do you i think that's okay but like if it's because you want to fit in you know i just don't think that's like the right reason but yeah be true to yourself and just embrace your culture i think that's my biggest advice um will you ever do a meet and greet honestly honestly truly i have a small audience so i think a meet and greet would be way too far-fetched for me um, I love meeting you guys, like I said before, I, lo I love meeting you guys. But I think it would be really cool though, if there was like a, a big YouTube um, meet and greet kind of thing. Or not even just a meet and greet, just like a forum because YouTube is just an interesting space right now in Kenya. I think it would be really cool if a bunch of YouTubers came together and like were just advising people to start a channel or even talk about the process of you know YouTube or some of the things I experienced that no one really talks about. I think that would be really dope actually. Actually you guys if you'd like to see that happen 
let me know in the comments i think that'd be so cool and maybe i can reach out to other youtubers and see if they would be down will you relocate to kenya after you complete uni like i said i don't know i think me staying here until january will determine a lot and it all depends on my financial situation and where i can find a job and you know all these things so at the moment i actually really don't know i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm such a big planner and the fact that i actually do not know what is going to happen in the next six months is stressing me the hell out <laughs> okay i really like this question are u.s guys better than kenyan men character wise <laughs> well, oh my gosh um okay for me personally i i I, I don't have experience with US men just because I just literally landed in uni and I just started dating people. <laughs> From what I've seen, yeah, 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 this is hard. But I mean, in terms of character, I feel like um, US men definitely kind of spoil you more. They, like, there's more of a dating culture there. Um, I can say that for sure. Um, Kenyans, I don't know. I don't think we date. I feel like people just go meet in the club or something or like maybe go out to lunch like a little bit or I don't see I don't see much of a dating culture in Kenya but in the States like people go on dates like all the time guys I can't answer that because I didn't really date around before except Emmanuel so um, and he's obviously a good guy <laughs> or I wouldn't have you know stayed so yeah he's 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 such a great guy but you know I don't think it's necessarily because he's from the States. Oh, this is such a sweet question. Do you plan on ever publishing a cookbook? Oh my gosh, the fact that you guys think I'm that good at cooking. Wow. The other day, I know this is so dumb. This is so, so dumb. But the other day I did a BuzzFeed quiz and it was like, <laughs> like, would you ever make it in culinary school or something? The questions were so hard. Like I was like, bruh, like there is so much terminology with cooking. Like, I mean, everyone can cook. I don't think I'm that skilled, if I would say, like, but in the future, if I really decide to get into it and like actually get serious training, then you know, that's not a bad idea. Can you speak or understand Taita? Taita is a little bit like Swahili in a way, so I can pick up on things. And yeah, I just know the basics. I think when you're in a household with two parents of separate tribes, it gets kind of complicated for them to try and speak to you in their languages because my dad's Taita and my mom's Kikuyu so they they don't understand either of their languages so my dad can't just be out here talking to us in Taita in front of my mom my mom will be like what but I would love to actually learn please do a makeup tutorial for beginners oh my gosh I will um, in fact I'll try and look out for Kenyan products specifically now that I'm back um, and try and find products that I actually really like and just do something simple um and yeah i will definitely definitely consider doing that are you religious if not why yes i'm a christian i have a very deep personal relationship with god that sometimes i just kind of keep to myself yeah maybe that's why you asked me if i'm religious or not because i don't really talk about it but yeah i definitely believe there's god i've seen him in so many ways oh my god you guys <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I'm doing this makeup thing. I've just been answering. Okay. Next question is how do you look after your hair? Is it natural? Um, my hair is texturized. How I look after it is I wear wigs. This is a wig. I bought the bundles and then I made my own wig. Wig. But yeah, I normally don't have my hair out just because I don't know, it's just so much work to maintain. So I really try and keep my hair in as much as I can, but one of these days I'll just wear it out, you know, straighten it or whatever. What course are you pursuing? Um, I'm doing this course called Branded Entertainment. So it's basically, and I've talked about it before I think, yeah? Yeah. Um, it's basically just TV production and advertising together. Um, so there's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of marketing, there's a little bit of film involved, there's a little bit of TV and sorry, there's, yeah. I'm just doing a pretty broad course. And someone else asked me what made you want to go to America. Um, sorry if I feel like if I repeated myself. Sometimes I don't remember what I've said on my channel, but 
I don't know if I mentioned that I wanted to go to Canada at first just because I really liked it. Um, the States was the second choice and um, it was actually the ideal choice. Yeah, I mean, it just worked out and I don't really regret staying there at all. And yeah, um, another question is what's the hardest adjustment you had to make um, from living in the States? I think the hardest one was dealing with not having family. But I've been so lonely like in the States. If it wasn't for Emmanuel, I feel like I don't know. I just feel like I just really did not click with people like I thought. And I don't know if it's an art school thing and I don't <laughs> I don't wanna be offensive to I don't wanna be offensive to anyone really. But art art school kids are very strange. I only clicked with like maybe a few couple of people. And yeah, I was just really lonely, like, I mean, here I have this with my girlfriend and, every, and everything and it's cool to have your boyfriend around, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you want to just have like a girl's night or something, but I don't know, it's just been really difficult. And a lot of people at SCAD say the same thing. They say it's really hard for them to make friends and find anyone they can relate to. So it's been a real struggle because I think loneliness has been like hella... Olivia. I've not had that crazy fun uni experience that everyone else has um, which is great I think it happened for a reason because I've been so focused on other things um, oh also let me show you guys so this is um, if you're wondering what I'm putting on my eyes this is the BH cosmetics palette I feel like I'll do a proper review on this because it was so cheap it was about maybe 20 even $15, actually I don't know but I'll put the price somewhere but it was so inexpensive. Um, this is like the first layer of the palette and this is the second layer. So this one is like fun and colorful and then this one is like grown and sexy. I think it's really cool. Okay, I need to get this look on the road. I swear my friend is just gonna walk up and be like... Why? Guys, this is why you wear black shirts when you're doing your makeup because this always, always happens to me. Okay, hey, I wanted to know two things. How old are you and are you back in Kenya permanently? I know you guys, um, I already answered that, so I'm not gonna touch on it, but um, I'm 21. Yep, yeah, I did turn 21 in May, so I am quite, quite young. I wanted to stay that way, okay? I wanna grow old. Uh, also, another question is, could you please do a skincare routine? Yes, I'm trying to wait for my skin to cool down. It's been pretty bad since I came back because I'm literally attacked by mosquitoes every single night. Like, I don't know what type of demonic mosquitoes are in this house, but they just don't die. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, I just give up and I just end up getting bitten like all the time. And my skin reacts to mosquito bites. Yeah, when it gets better, I would love to do one for sure. Okay, I'm almost done with this look. You guys, I don't know what it's saying. So the Saraha thing is not working, so... That's my cue that I need to cut the questions short. Sorry if I didn't get to yours. But thank you so much for all the questions. And also my camera is about to die as well, so... I'm just gonna finish this look real quick. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys.